try to you try to get money to, to get tech, to get the, the technology for the students in the district. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, for the schools. Yeah. Okay. To, to get technology for the disabled students. <clears throat> That's what I have. Okay. Um, did you guys, first of all, uh, fantastic job. I'm really, really proud of each one of you. I know you're nervous standing up there, but man, you did great. Um, I'm wondering, did you all do any research about where kids with learning disabilities, anger problems, that kind of stuff, went to school before they were allowed into public schools? And so that's my first question. Do you know where those kids were before the public schools were forced to educate them as well? And then what do you think about the idea of kids with IEPs going to school with kids that don't have IEPs? I'm just curious about your all's opinion on that. On that, Can somebody tackle that first question? Did anybody do so any the, research there? The, well, the first question, Aiden, you did a little bit because Aiden did all the precedent cases. Okay. Do you remember in Brown versus Board of Education, one of the reasons they cited for needing to sort of desegregate schools? It was one of the quotes that you put in your paper that you turned in. What were, what were happening to a lot of the students with learning disabilities and behavior problems before FAPE um, went into play? Well, actually, um, the quote that I found is, is, that they, is that they were going to uh, the retard the mental development of legal children, I found. It means like they, they, they're going to like move the, 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 the blacks that have like a mental development mm -hmm. to another, maybe, you know, to another school system. Yeah, pretty much they weren't allowed to be in a public school. They stayed home, they were in an institution, that they weren't um, invited to be uh, educated with peers that didn't have IEPs. Mm -hmm. So my question to you all is, um, what do you think now that the courts have ruled differently and said, oh no, a kid with an IEP is entitled to be in a public school just like another kid who doesn't have an IEP? Do you guys agree with that? And um, do you have anything you'd like to cite about that from personal experience? 